In this exercise, we're going to use the sample MEP project located in the common folder. From the startup screen, click on open and browse to the common folder and open the sample MEP project. In this exercise, we want to look at how we can select multiple objects of a similar type or category. So let's take a look at a busy plan. Here I'm going to scroll down and find my level 1 lighting plan. At this point I'm going to zoom into the north end of the view and do a selection window across all the objects. The contextual tab on the ribbon shows me that I have a multiple selection, as does the options bar and the properties palette. What I want to be able to do is only select lighting fittings. So I'm going to click on filter and in the filter we can see that we have several different types of objects selected, whereas I only want the lighting fixtures. I can uncheck these boxes individually or I can click on the check none button, then come back to the left side of the dialog and pick up lighting fixtures. Click on apply and click on OK. This is as far as the Revit selection process will take me. If I want to refine this further, I will have to deselect or add to my selection different objects by either holding down the Shift key and removing an element from the selection or pressing and holding the Control key and adding an object to the selection. You can see when I do this that pressing and holding the shift key places a minus sign adjacent to my cursor while pressing and holding the control key puts a plus sign next to the cursor. Once I have my selection set I'm now free to do what I want whether this is move, copy or rotate. We will look at these commands in future videos.